Hi everyone, welcome back. It is six o'clock in the morning. Well, it's actually about 6.30 now, but it's about 6.30 and today I am going to walk you through how I would do my makeup if I were in Omaha going to work. If you don't know, I am actually an aircraft dispatcher. I work for a wonderful private flight department and I am a remote employee. Occasionally though, I am needed at the hangar in Omaha, so sometimes I do have to travel a little bit. So today's video is just how I would do my makeup when I actually have to go to the office. Before we begin, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button. It would mean so much to me, and we'll get started. So I am a person who likes options when I travel, when I, especially with makeup, I have this kind of bad habit where I pack way too much makeup because I think I need all of these options and I don't know what I'm going to be in the mood for. But with going to work, I really, really try to narrow it down. So for foundation, I'm only taking two. And with it being summer right now, these are the two that I'm leaning towards the most lately. It's the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation and then the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. And it is actually going to be around 85 degrees in Colorado, that's the high today. And it's actually supposed to be around 90 degrees in Omaha today. So I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Skin Tint just because I like the way it melts into my skin a little bit more than the Shiseido and I feel like, or it doesn't melt away so fast during the day. And I like to go in with a brush with this I've actually been leaning more towards blushes for applying all of my foundations. I'm finding that it just helps the product absorb into my skin a little bit more than using a sponge. Now I just take whatever is left on the back of my hand and press it in with the sponge. This helps all the brush marks to fade away. Next I go in with concealer and honestly I would only take one. I would take my Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer. I've really been enjoying this one since I picked it up a few months back. It's literally one I've been reaching for more often than not. So for going to work, this is probably the only one I would take. I also like this one because whatever the Fenty Beauty Foundation didn't cover up, like over here I've got some redness, this concealer will cover that up. Which allows me to still keep a really light base. And instead of eye primer today, I'm just going to use concealer, but I will probably still take an eye primer with me. And now I just have that little extra coverage on the cheeks that I need. But hopefully it's not going to melt off in the heat as easily as it would if I had such a heavy foundation on. To set my face, I am gonna go in with my staple Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder. This is just one I have absolute confidence in, and I don't want to take a new powder to set my under eyes that I don't have complete confidence in to go to work, because if I look real cakey about four hours in, I'm gonna get some weird looks. And I'm also just using that powder to set my eye since we use the concealer to prime. To set the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in with my Kosa's Cloud Set. I have been loving this powder just to set the face. It's such a light weight powder that really doesn't leave any sort of powdery finish on your skin. And because I'm most comfortable with powder products, I'm not going to be using any, I'm not going to take any cream products with me. So this just helps the bronzer and blush and highlight not skip later when I'm applying it. And I still feel very natural. So with that, I just love that powder. It is so nice especially for a hot days since it's so lightweight. We're gonna go into eyes first before finishing the face just because I like to do my eye look first in order to match my blush to the eye look. So we're gonna do eyes next. And I take two palettes with me when I travel. The first one is the Too Faced The Natural Nudes palette. I really like this one just because it has both nudes and mauve tones. So I can have my choice of if I want to do something really neutral or if I want to add a little bit more of a mauve tone. And then the other palette that I like to take is my Natasha Denona Biba palette. This is obviously a very neutral palette and I really like it for this glittery 
shimmer shade here. I like to mix that one the most with my natural nudes. But honestly, this palette in general is really good to travel with. Today I think we'll do a bit more of a neutral look rather than mauve -y. So we're going to start with this shade which is called Maple. And I am just going to start that in the crease. I feel like when I do my makeup too, it'll work. I tend to be a bit more shyer when I do my makeup because I don't want to draw too much change to me. Because I don't go all the time. Every time I go there, I don't want something to be drastically different about me to my coworkers. So when I do my makeup, yes, I still do my makeup like I would do every day, but I don't go as hard. So like I try to avoid like smoky eyes and dark colors, really. And I play with this color until I get it to the opacity that I like. And really it's just like my first crease shade, kind of blending it out into a transition shade. Next we're gonna go into this shade called Tusk in my Biba palette, and I'm going to set the rest of my lid space with that color. And then I mean honestly, just with these two colors, if you know how to do a really cool winged eyeliner, this would be a great eye look to do that just with these two colors. I don't know how to do eyeliner very well, so I think we're going to add a little bit of shimmer because I like shimmery shades. And then again, my I've got two favorite shimmer shades. The first one is the Shine shade from the Biba palette. And the second one is this Shimmering Pearl shade from the Natural Nudes palette. Maybe we'll just use both. I'm going to go in with Shine first. You guys know me, I just use my fingers for shimmer shades. We're just going to pat that across the whole lid. And then I just take my flat shader brush so I can get it all the way into this inner corner. Anywhere else that I missed with my finger. And then I think to brighten it up a little bit more, I'm going to go into my Shimmering Pearl shade because it's a little bit brighter than the Shine shade. And I'm just going to place it right in the middle, right in the center to hopefully brighten up. Now I'm going to go back in with Maple, our first shade, and just clean up this line, the Shimmer to Matte line, so it's not so harsh. And drag it up as far as I want to my eyebrow. And I also take that color on my lower lash line. And I don't go super heavy on my lower lash line, but I just take this one corner to corner. I do typically take a couple mascaras with me. Currently, I would probably take my Maybelline Sky High mascara and my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I think both of these last phenomenally, which when I'm in Omaha, I typically have a bit longer days. So I would definitely take two that would last me all day, and then it's just about preference after that. Today, I think I'm gonna go in with my roller lash. I'm also going to get my brows done, and for brows, I would typically just take my Benefit Gimme Brow. This is my staple eyebrow product, but I am currently testing out the Kosa's Air Brow, and I've really been enjoying it. I've worn it for about a week straight now, so at this point in time, I would be comfortable taking it with me. So I'll probably take both of them. So I'm going to get my mascara and my brows done and then we will come back to finish the face. Okay, I did forget to mention that if I were to take an eyeshadow primer, I'd take my NARS Tinted Smudge Proof one. I didn't use it today just because I wasn't feeling it. So we just used concealer, but this is the one I would take. For bronzers, I typically only take one just because I'm only going to take powders because that's what I'm most familiar with, that's what I'm most comfortable with, so I know how to make it not look crazy where sometimes cream blushes or cream bronzers get away from me. So I would only I only take one bronzer. Last time I took my I think I took my Gucci bronzer because I had just gotten it and I loved it so much. But right now I'm currently in love with my Liss Beauty No Limits Matte bronzer. So this is the one that I would be taking. And then I try not to go super heavy handed. So I just warm up the cheeks. A little bit on the forehead and I also do under the jaw and down the neck a little bit just to give it all some warmth. 
blush is always my downfall. I typically bring the most blushes because I can't ever figure out which one is going to match my two eyeshadow palettes the most for whatever looks I pick out. So today's pretty golden warm. I'm thinking that one's pretty rosy. Maybe not that one. This one's my Jouer. This one's got a good mixture of pink and this one's a bit more red. So maybe the pink one. This is my Cover FX one. Ooh, I'm kind of liking that one so far. This is Magic Hour from M Cosmetics. The first one was their Venetian Rose. I think I'm going to go with my Cover FX one. But I would take the Magic Hour M Cosmetics one and the Jouer Blush Bouquet Duo. Yeah, I think those three would work really well with any golden tone I come up with like this or even if I chose something a bit more mauve-y. And again, I try not to go super heavy handed. Just add that little bit of color. And this is a blush duo with a matte side and a shimmer side and I like to mix them. It seems a bit more vibrant on the camera with the ring light but in my mirror it doesn't look so bright. Or maybe it is. Maybe I'm trying to tell myself, it's not too bad, you can keep going. I like to add a little bit of blush on the forehead and on the nose. Now I'm going to take my damp sponge and we are just going to press over everything to hopefully get a more blended look. Maybe tone down my blush a little bit. One of my favorite highlighters to take with me is my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is in the shade Opal. It's a really pretty white gold and I think it just goes really well with any sort of light, golden, even mauve type look. So we're going to use this one today. Again, I try not to overdo it. The thing about work for me is I'm a bit more shy and a bit more hesitant about my makeup because typically being remote, I'm at home and I don't have to show anybody if I don't want to. So if I think I've overdone it, like I had a video, a uh, couple videos back, I like way overdid my blush and way overdid my bronzer, but I was just at home so I didn't change it and I was okay with that. But I, that's not something I would wear to work. And actually I'm going to use the highlight as my inner corner highlight as well. So that's the highlight I would use today, but I would also take my Noblet Skin Glazing. This is in the shade Ozone. And this is a very ivory color. I don't The packaging is pink, so with the light it looks a little bit pink, but it's super ivory. It's really pretty for a natural lit from within type of glow. Sorry, it took me a few tries to get that right. And then the other one I would take is from Catrice. This is the Sungasm Body and Face Highlight. This one has a bit more pink to it, so I think if I went with a mauve look, I would use this one. To set the face, I have currently been using my Maven Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray. I really like it. I think it holds my makeup on very well through the day. So I'm just going to use this today and it is the only one that I would take just because typically I'm only gone for a week and I think one setting spray will be fine for a week. And to finish it off, lips. Lips are like the hardest thing for me to pack just because I never know what I'm actually going to be reaching for. So I have about five lip liners that I take all five of them because I can't decide which ones. Four of them are from Nabla, so they're nude one, two, three, and four. Two and three are much more brown toned. I like to use them kind of when I've got a more golden -y brown look. And then one and four have a bit more pink to them, but they're still very neutral. So. I have to take all four of them, I don't know why. And then the fifth eyeliner I take is from Natasha Denona and it is more mauve pink. So if I am gonna use a mauve eye look, this is the one that I would use. I would take all five eyeliners. I happen to love my Ofra by Samantha March lip glosses in the shade Queen and Peony. I also really like Millie, but I don't think I would bring Millie. It's the white clear lip gloss of this trio, but I really like Queen and Peony because this one's a lot more brown and this one's a lot more pink. So the Peony shade works really well with the Natasha Denona lip liner, and then the Queen shade works really nicely with the Nabla shades 2 and 3. And I mean, that alone pretty much covers the basis depending on my eye look. But I am a person who needs options, so 
you know we're gonna take more than that, right? I love my Fenty glosses, so I would probably take my Fenty Cream. This is in the shade Fenty Glow. I would also probably take my Tower 28 Lip Jelly. This is in the shade Cashew, so it's a little bit more brownish. I would also take my Maybelline Lipstick. This is in the shade Truffle Tease, and it's a very beautiful light nude shade, like bare nude. So it would probably pair really nicely with the Nabla Lip Liners 1 and 4. Maybe two or three. I'm sure it'd pair nicely with all of them. I am also a creature of habit, so I would bring my lip balm. This is from Rare Beauty in the shade Nearly Apricot. This is such a light, light dose of color, but it's such, it's got the perfect texture for me for lip balm. So I think if I went something like really simple on the eyes where you couldn't really decipher if it was gold or mauve, I would go with this one. And lastly, I would probably take a clear lip gloss in case I just wanted to use one of the lip liners as my shade. Currently, I'm really liking my Tarte Maracuja? Kua? I'm not, I'm not sure how to say that word, but it's their Juicy Lip formula. And it, this one's just clear and I, I really like the texture of it. It makes my lips feel very hydrated. So if I just wanted to use a lip liner, I would also take a clear gloss. For today though, we're going to go in with one of my favorite duos. I'm going to take the Nabla Lip Liner in Nude Number 2 and pair it with my Ofra by Samantha March Lip Gloss in the shade Queen. And I like to blend out the lip liner with my finger first. That way it's not such a harsh line when you layer on the lipstick or the lip gloss. Now we're going to go in with Queen. And I try not to overdo it, that way you don't get a pile of the pigment like right in the center. But man, I love this color. And then it looks something like that. You've got a nice brownie, sparkly lip color going on to match your golden eyes. <laughs> so here is our finished look. This is totally something that I would wear to work when I have to travel to Omaha and actually be present in the hanger. I really try not to overdo it just because I'm a bit more shy in person and I don't want to look crazy in front of my coworkers. I really love where I work. I love who I work with. There are some very great people. So it's just me being a bit more self-conscious and why I really try to go lighter with the makeup. But yeah, these this is kind of how I would pack for my traveling if I were going to work and this is the look that I would do. You'll have to let me know if you guys are similar where you try to not overdo it or if you go, go bold. I'd love to know if you use colors when you go to work and if you do, I'd love to see them. And also, what are some of your favorite products, your staple products that you wear specifically for work? Other than that, that is all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. It just helps me out. I'm here on Tuesdays and Fridays, 10 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.